So, Himanshu, why do you wish to join civil service? Sir, there are two reasons. First, I am very inclined towards this service because of the opportunity and the dynamism that the service offers. Okay. And second, sir, it is a great career opportunity. It provides stability as well as a great path ahead. Absolutely, absolutely. Right. Right. So, Mr. Imanshu. Yes, sir. I'll ask you something on the Kashmir Valley. Yes, sir. Now, there have been demands from the Kashmiri pundits Yes, sir. To be rehabilitated, right? Now, what were the circumstances under which uh, these people had to leave? What necessitated the leaving the state in the first place? Sir, on a particular day in the 1989 or 1990, there were uh, there were rumors created that. Uh, uh, Hindus will be, or a section of community will be massacred, or they will be killed. So, in the fear of that uh, rumor, many people left. Some did not, but many of these left. How many do you think? When you say some left, what do you, what do you mean by that? Hundred, thousand, two thousand? Sir, in thousands people left. So, is that still a few? Sir, not able to. One lakh fifty thousand families. Okay, sir. And. Many of them were massacred. It's yes. only the threat doesn't work. It's only that you know the many of them were killed. Yes. And then of course this threat that they would have to leave. Now which are the organizations which were responsible for creating this problem there? There are terrorist groups operating in the valley. Who are doing this? So these were the militant organizations uh, which may have emanated from the cross-border uh, area, uh, infiltrated into... Yeah, which one are these? Why do you say may have? You're not sure? You're saying may have uh, emanated from the... <laughs> Of no, course, they emanated. They emanated, but uh, there was radicalized uh, part of uh, uh, youth, uh, which also led to rumor mongering, sir. But uh, so main part was the from the internet. two main terror organizations, which are being financed from Pakistan, who were responsible for creating the mayhem in the valley in 1990. <coughs> sir, uh, Jammu and Kashmir Popular Liberation Front. Yeah. JKLF was a long time back. Sorry, sir. Have you not heard of the Jaish e Mohammed and Lashkar e Taiba? Yes, sir. So, now, Hafiz Saeed yes, sir. has been recently indicted in a court in Pakistan. Yes, sir. Why was that done? Sir, mainly to escape the pressure from the FATF and to show that we have done something significant okay. in the terror uh, combatant field. So, and what is the FATF? So, FATF is an intergovernmental organization of. Uh, like, uh, I think 39 nations, yeah. uh, which is uh, uh, working in the area of uh, combating terror financing, money laundering. And so are they meeting now or are they scheduled to meet or what? Yes, sir, they are meeting uh, from uh, 16th. 16th, yes sir. Yeah, where? Sir, in, I'm not sure, sir, Paris. Paris. Now, what is our interest in this meeting? So our, our primary interest is to isolate Pakistan by uh, putting, uh, by persuading uh, like-minded countries to put Pakistan into a blacklist, but uh, that uh, has not been fulfilled. Yeah, but at least uh, we were able to uh, get them yes, into the grey list, yes, right? Sir. Okay, right. Now, uh, if you read the papers, yes, sir. the uh, Lokpal issue has been in the newspapers. Yes, sir. Any idea why? Yes, uh, uh, I think a member uh, from the Lokpal uh, committee has uh, uh, resigned. How many members are there in the Lokpal? So it was a long back when I read it. I think it's eight. Eight, eight. Yes. Four judicial and four, four non-judicial. Non -judicial, yes. So which one has resigned? The judicial or non-judicial? Judicial one. Judicial. Judicial one has resigned. Any reason why? Sir, he cited personal reasons, but uh, from some newspapers it is cited that uh, uh, he resigned because there was no work uh, being uh, done in the local. Yeah, no progress in the framing of rules, not given a official uh, accommodation, yes, those are various issues. Okay. Now, uh, have you heard of this Act East policy? Yes, sir. What is that? 
act east policy sir can be regarded as a second part of the look east policy okay it uh, was mainly to shift the focus of india's uh, foreign policy uh, to the east asia uh, including the countries of asean to strengthen our relationship in the field of connectivity in the field of trade investments yeah. uh, so now as part of this uh, uh, project there is something which was called the kaladan multimodal yes sir, sir what is uh, this kaladan multimodal what where did it start where did it end and what is the route sir it's a kaladan multimodal project is a uh, is a transport uh, connectivity yes. route originating in the sitwe <coughs> province of myanmar sitwe port of myanmar sorry and sir uh, then uh, from waterways it also has roadways as a part of it and finally sir it meets uh, I think, sir, in uh, Mizoram, yeah. at some uh, city. It comes to the border of Mizoram. Yes, sir. But you left it in between. Where did it start from? Sitwe port, sir, in the Myanmar. Uh, uh, it starts Myanmar. from Calcutta. Okay, sir. In Calcutta by sea to Myanmar. From okay. there by Kaladan River and then by road. Okay, okay. Right. thank you. Yabanshu. Yes, sir. Have you heard of the regional comprehensive economic partnership? Yes, sir. We opted out of RCEP after yes. waiting for seven years. What were the reasons why we opted out of it? Sir, so the government uh, has uh, uh, measured the cost as well as the uh, benefits of joining the RCEP and I th in my view the benefits uh, were not outweighing the cost, so costs were more, so we decided not to join it. What were the benefits and costs? So benefits uh, included that uh, by joining such a large block of countries, a uh, large block of grouping, uh, we would have uh, been a part of a larger grouping which would have allowed our exports to boost as well as uh, when we have advantages in services sector. So our services could have been uh, given a boost. But services were not being considered. Yes, sir. So that's why, sir, we did not join it. Apart from its losses that we would have... Uh, uh, made by agreeing to the terms that were offered to us, our dairy industry as well as our agriculture sector would have been hit very hard because uh, allowing milk and allowing agri products from other countries would have hit our farmers very much. Okay. And uh, also perhaps we didn't have the capacity to compete in the export markets. Yes, sir. Take advantage of the uh, what was going to be available in RCP. Uh, now, China is also of concern. And now, recently, there is outbreak of coronavirus. Yes, sir. What areas of our economy will be impacted if this continues? Sir, all these areas which are highly dependent on imports from China as their intermediate goods will be impacted. Uh, these can include our automobile sector. For example, sir, uh, we have uh, sensors which are coming from China which are used in many automobile production. So, uh, so unavailability of a small sensor may lead to not uh, non-saleability of a big car. So it will impact the sensor in uh, this automobile industry. Sir, apart from it, sir, pharmaceutical industry industry will be very hit because uh, there is some component called uh, APIs, active pharmaceutical ingredients which are used in the pharma production and we are heavily dependent on China, so that will be impacted. Okay. Now, uh, India and China are part of a regional group, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. Yes, sir. What event is going to be hosted by India? Yes, sir. India is hosting the uh, annual meet of SEO countries. Heads of government meet. Yes, heads of government seat, me, sir. Okay, and have we invited the Pakistan Prime Minister also for this? Yes, sir, we have uh, give, uh, sent a formal invitation to the Prime Minister of Pakistan. Are India, China and Pakistan going to conduct joint military exercises? Or have they conducted joint military exercises? As part of, sir, SEO framework, we did uh, uh, have a counter-terrorism exercise. Yes, okay. Operation, Operation Peace Mission and Russia. Yes, sir. Okay. Our exports to GDP ratio has been declining for few years. Yes, sir. But what are the reasons for this? What do you think are the reasons? Sir, mainly seeing the math, sir, exports are not increasing. Exports are stagnant and GDP is increasing the exports. Uh, exports are stagnant. That's the case. Sir, exports are stagnant because uh, we are uh, losing uh, out to some countries in our neighborhood. For example, Bangladesh, Vietnam in textile sector because of their more favorable terms of trade with the uh, developed world as well as uh, the logistics cost we are not able to keep up our exports that we would want them to be there are many sectors as you said that uh, 
the portal feel that uh, in terms yes, of cost sir. and quality. So there is one more issue that uh, that has been a major cause of uh, uh, problem in many sectors. Uh, that is the timely no, uh, timely payment is not being made. For example, sir, when we export, there is a remission of duty, so the government should pay it, but uh, there goes by uh, months and then years, and then interest will or the working capital gets uh, stuck. So these are various issues there. And availability of credit. Yes, sir. Various banking issues we are facing. Uh, you have lived in Haryana and Delhi. Yes, sir. Uh, recently, uh, there was something, some dispute going on between Haryana and Delhi government on some issue relating to pollution. Are you aware of it? Yes, sir. Okay. So it's uh, um, it, has, it has become an e yearly issue when pollution becomes too large. The governments uh, uh, do the blame game to that pollution is coming from the other side due to stubble burning and the other. other than stubble burning, what are the main causes of pollution in Delhi? Sir, so pollution in Delhi has uh, uh, local causes as well. So a large part of it uh, can be termed from the transport and uh, transportation sector. Then power generation sector, uh, I think, sir, the power generation uh, power plant at Badapur has been shut. And, sir, uh, apart from these two, there are uh, issues in the, uh, from the construction sector, which Supreme Court has uh, uh, very stringently addressed. And, sir, there are other sources like waste burning, garbage burning, these are all sources, right. sir. Continuing with the same pollution, you've given all the reasons for pollution. Yes, What can be done to address the problem of pollution in Delhi? Just name one, two, three, four. That's it. Okay, ma'am. Mm -hmm. A collaborative, uh, the scheme that centre has launched for the four states uh, for, uh, for Haryana, Punjab, Rajasthan, and Delhi. It could be implemented well. What is the scheme? It is a scheme for count combating stubble burning by providing uh, subsidy in the hiring of machines through custom hiring centres, so that the uh, uh, farmers are okay, able. So that's why. Yes, ma'am. Second, uh, ma'am, uh, by. Uh, uh, controlling the dust which uh, originates yeah. from the constructions. Uh, by there are certain guidelines given by the NGT about how construction waste has to be kept in mind. Yes, ma'am. And ma'am, apart road from dust. it, road dust, yes ma'am, road dust has to be cleaned by uh, mechanized, uh, mechanized trucks. Yes, yes. anything else? And ma'am, uh, the solid waste management issue should be tackled without, uh, it should not be burned, ma'am. Okay. Now, you've also written in your positions of uh, health and college, outreach coordinator for something. What is this uh, you've done? Ma'am, I did an internship uh, with the government of Delhi, mm -hmm. social what welfare department. Okay, social PGMS welfare. is a public grievance management system. Uh, these complaint uh, platform where people can file their complaint and uh, then the government can see them. So and what did you see as uh, far as redressal of these complaints was concerned? Many of the complaints, ma'am, were redressed, but uh, uh, when there were compl few complaints, many, uh, a portion of complaints which were not addressed for a long time. Mm -hmm. So my role there was to uh, bring into the notice who which complaints are not being addressed and uh, to call people whose complaints are not addressed uh, that uh, uh, have they been outreaching what have they no. got. All right. Yes, so now you've also written YouTube. What do you mean by YouTube? YouTube is a um, platform to... No, I know that it's a platform. Yes. But what is your role there? I like to watch YouTube in so during my free time. You watch YouTube. So yes, what do you generally watch? I generally watch, ma'am, uh, depends on the, what, uh, if I'm very stressed one, one, one okay. important thing uh, that I watch. I watch, ma'am, uh, largely about the history channels and geopolitics. Big. All right, fine. So you're from Haryana. Yes, ma'am. One hears about the cops, and they're considered illegal bodies. Yet the cops uh, sway the veins even now. Why is that so? Um, Haryana is uh, largely due to agriculture uh, economy largely has a feudal setup and feudal uh, setup uh, uh, leads to kind of uh, feeling that uh, I am the king here. So these uh, Khap Panchayats are originating due to that, the lack of fear of uh, rule of law. And have the Khaps done any good work? We only hear in the paper about all the negatives but I'm sure they must have done some good work also. Yes ma'am. Uh, mention any? There was a ma'am, a lady. Uh, uh, in I'm the past not, marriages. Yes, ma'am. As, as well as a selfie with daughter uh, yes. program also was there. Was started by the cops. Selfie with daughter. A lady was there who was the head of the panchayat. What else? 
as well as uh, in the field of uh, Okay, fine. Okay. So now we come to the next uh, problem in here, the negative or the skewed sex ratio yes, in Haryana. Why have we not been able to address the problem despite all these acts that we have? You know we have the PCP and BTI yes, hmm? and Beti, Beti Bachao, Beti Padao, all those schemes are there. Why are we still not able to address the problem? There are many reasons. Mm -hmm. Uh, the main reason is the mindset that uh, we have. Okay, so patriarchy is the main. Yes, ma'am. And what can we do to overcome this problem? My belief that education and education empowerment and health empowerment to women is the main uh, way, main idea we, where we can address this issue strongly because it will address the root of the problem where women are not empowered and males uh, take decisions about okay. abortions and all. All right. Now, uh, can you mention some of the global challenges that we are faced with today? Just mention them. One, two, three, four, ten. Any one, two, three, four, five, three, two, one. And Terrorism okay, would terrorism. be first, ma'am. Then uh, global rebalancing the transition era we are in okay. because uh, from okay. unipolar. Then, ma'am, uh, the space uh, race that we are having. Sp the race to the it's weaponization. Not global challenge. Anything else? Come to more climate business. change. Yes, climate change. Food, energy, drugs, human trafficking. All these sustainable Money development climate. goals uh, uh, that we are aiming for so are a challenge. Tell me something about climate, ch uh, climate change. Why are we so concerned about it? Climate change, ma'am, is a, both a natural as well as anthropogenic phenomena. Uh, what are the natural reasons for natural climate reasons change? for the climate change ca could be uh, like volcano uh, volcanism is a phenomenon. Anything else? As well as, ma'am, when uh, the what about forest fires. Forest fires are natural uh, are one of the reasons. And human reasons. Human reasons are uh, excessive uh, combustion of fossil fuels, which lead to excess carbon dioxide release in the atmosphere which causes a greenhouse effect and leads to rise in the temperature of the... So earth. what would be the effect, negative effect of rise in uh, temperatures? Rise in temperatures ma'am would lead to uh, problems like melting of the snow in the polar regions which would lead to increase in sea uh, water level mm -hmm. and then when the sea water level increases the areas which are close to uh, the coastal areas may be submerged then we'll, we may have a problem of climate refugees okay. and okay. apart from it ma'am uh, if the temperatures increase uh, then we'll have a problems of heat waves in the city some uh, like okay. down Anything else? then ma'am uh, urban heat islands Yes, scarcity of and water. Scarcity of water, scarcity of food, because food will become... Thank you. Tell me, Yes, sir. usually when you read the newspaper, you get the impression that India and Pakistan yes, sir. <coughs> somehow on some contentious issue always. Recently they have cooperated on certain things. One thing, what is that? Can you tell me? Yes, sir. So recently they have uh, cooperated uh, on uh, the Kartarpur issue, Kartarpur corridor they have uh, uh, co uh, cooperated with us to build the Kartarpur shrine. No, yes, some economic, something which has impacted the economy in both the countries. I'm sorry. Rural economy. What's that? Rural economy. I will go further. In fact, Pakistan sought our help and we gave it to them. Sorry, sir. Uh, I of the locust infection. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, so sir. What kind of help did we give them? I mean, they sought help. Sir, I'm not sure. Not, sir. Okay. Tell me, corruption is a big issue in India. Yes, right? sir. Nobody doubts that. Why doesn't it go down, or is it going down? Yes, sir. It is going. Down. Going down? Yes, sir. You mean we are less corrupt as before? Yes, sir. How come? So Earlier we used to hear of Watatwar uh, Lal and all those small fries in lakhs and crores, maybe 10 crores. Maybe. Now we have CWG, we have telecom scam, we have coal scam. Sir, I think so. Now we have this Malaya scam. You know, these are big scams, this bank in PA. So how do you say that it is going down? Sir, I was referring to the current uh, period uh, because, uh, sir, scams uh, uh, when they uh, the current period, this the, period scam yes. will come out in the next government. Yes, sir. Period. Yes. You see, so forget the current period. 
Sir, even the frauds that are coming uh, out today, as you said, uh, are, have been coming from the past. Yeah, the it always happens like that. Because but the current government would not let the corruption get out, right? As long as they are. So you can't do much about it. There might be bigger scams, for all you know, but it will come out only when they are out of their power. So how do you say it is going down? Sir, I think so. The measures of transparency that have been implemented in the implementation of schemes mm -hmm. like direct benefit transfer have uh, uh, saved a lot of money. Mm -hmm. As well as, sir, uh, as the private sector takes right, part. Of you, you, are a, you are a person who is optimist, and so you think it has gone down, and perhaps it will go down. Tell me another thing. Yes, sir. You know, in Human Development Index, we are down below. In ease of doing business, might, we might have improved a bit, but still we are nowhere near the top. Yes, Quite top, even middle. Per capita income, of course, we know around two thousand dollars or whatever. Yes, sir. So why is this? Sir, I think sir, we are still uh, a developing economy. We have just uh, been 70 years of uh, democracy. Mm -hmm. and, and democracy, sir, it takes a, a lot of time to for such a large country to reach that level. So we are investing it. Maybe we have not invested in the past in the health and education sector, which are the Israel basic. Israel did better because they were a smaller country, isn't it? Yes, sir. And, and South they, Korea also. Because they, I mean, South Korea went through hell. Yes, sir. Uh, around the time we became independent, they went through hell and then they also stood up. But so sir, is it because size of the country? No, sir. Size is one factor, but the health, investments in health, education, and research are the basic factors because they help improve the productivity of labor. All right. So we didn't invest much. Yes. Sir. Are we investing now? So we are we are increasing, but we are still far from the potential in investment. Thank you. Okay. Now economics is your main subject. Right? Yes, sir. I'll ask you one or two questions. Has India's economic position in the world ranking improved? There will, what is our position among the economies? As in the total America GDP. is number one, yes, China sir. is number two. Yes, sir. Then sir. comes Germany or Japan and all that. Where are we? So we are the fifth largest economy. Fifth? Yes, sir. Whom have we beaten? Sir, so, UK. This year? United Kingdom, sir. Right. So what is our size of our economy? Sir, it is attending, approaching to 3 trillion. We are now 2.9 trillion, sir. 2.97 or 94. Yes, sir. What is our GDP uh, per capita uh, income? So it's uh, $2,000 in uh, do dollar terms, and if we talk about PPP exchange rates, so it is $7,000. And uh, what is America's and, 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 uh, and, uh, and China? <laughs> Where are they? <laughs> so they're, they're America, I last two what I read was 53. 60, 62 million. 62 and China is more than 10. 12,000. Yeah, 10. Okay, sir. So, the, the, we are nowhere. <laughs> yes, sir. America 62794. We are nowhere. Uh, but it is a puny economy. <clears throat> now, what is the size of the budget which has been presented in Parliament? So it's uh, 30 lakh crores. 30 lakh crores. Yes, sir. Generally, the uh, revenue expenditure is more, much yes, more than the cap capex. Yes, sir. Is there a change in this budget? Is there an improvement in the capex? Yes, sir. Uh, from what I read, the, there was the capital expenditure has improved by a certain percentage. Uh, percentage. Sir, since I asked you a question, you took a guess, certain percentage. No, sir. So Can it you has tell me? Increased by how much? 13%. What are the main sources of revenue visualized in this budget? <coughs> so this budget envisages revenue from both taxes and non-tax sources. All right. One is taxation and GST, etc. Yes, sir. What else? From the non-tax sources, we have uh, uh, from the capital receipts, we have non, uh, disinvestments. Uh, disinvestments. Two point one lakh crores. Two point one lakh crores. Okay. And sir, apart from disinvestments, we are receiving money from uh, sir. What are the other sources which are being visualized in this budget? 
So from Vivad Se Vishwas team, we'll be able to all right, okay, uh, repin. If yeah, if it uh, succeeds, we will make some money out of it. Yes, sir. What else? Sir, apart from it, sir, GST collections. GST, to आपने कह दिया ना? Taxation तो हो गई. Okay, sir. Taxation is the biggest component. Uh, sir, I'm going to recall these. Nine. आपने पढ़ाई नहीं किया इस चैनल पे? सर पढ़ा था सर स्पेक्ट्रम सेल का चल रहा है नहीं यस सर होप टू गार्नर वन पॉइंट थ्री मिलियन अबाउट फोर लाख करोड़ सो ऑल दैट इज़ देयर ओके सर स्पेक्ट्रम वेदर दे विल बी एबल टू डू इट और नॉट इज़ अ डिफरेंट थिंग बट ट्राई हैज सेट द प्राइस एक्सट्रीमली हाई यस सर एंड टेलकोस आर वेरी अनहैप्पी अबाउट इट व्हाट Fifty thousand, fifty thousand crores. Okay, sir. The telcos are crying wars because the telcos are already under pressure on economic pressure. For yes. what reason are they under pressure? Sir, due to the recent uh, Supreme Court judgment on, on AGR, what? what does it say? Annual uh, uh, adjusted gross revenue. That what is the, the quantum of it? Sir, it is close to one point three three one point five lakh crores, sir. All right. The finance minister made a very bold statement yes, recently sir. that seven green shoots in the economy have appeared. Seven green shoots. <laughs> now, do you agree that uh, green shoots are appearing? Sir. You are an economics man. Eh? Don't go by what uh, finance minister says. If you analyze, what do you see? Sir, I don't uh, see in the recent uh, uh, recent you months. See or don't see? You give me specific areas where you, uh, there is any any improvement or not improvement. Sir, uh, index of industrial production improved in the November period, but then it again in the December when the reports came. On the next day when the finance minister. December, spoke. January, it has gone down. It has gone to minus 1.8 or something. Zero point some zero point three zero something. Yes, sir. IIP index has gone down. Yes, sir. So, so uh, it so the the next day when finance minister said that green shoots are appearing, the next day the IIP was out. So, sir, the statement was. So it is it is not. No, sir. All right then. Where is the green shoot? Tell me. Sir, but in purchasing managers index there were green shoots, sir. Purchasing manager index only shows that the inventories are being. Yes, sir. Inflated are being. You know, they are ordering more and more raw materials. Yes, sir. That does not indicate that the production has increased. So you are confusing the truth. You are an economics student, and that is what Mrs. Uh, Sita Raman did. Okay. She went only by PMI, but not by the actual performance. Yeah. All right, but there are green shoots. Okay, sir. You have not identified them. No, all right. Sir, GST. We'll talk later. Supreme Court has recently given a major ru uh, ruling on a reservation. Yes, sir. What is it said? Sir, Supreme Court stated that uh, reservation is uh, not a fundamental right. right. It's only an enabling, enabling provision. Sir. No one can compel any state to give reservation. Yes, Correct. All right. We we'll close the interview. I yes, give you a feedback. How do you think you performed? Sir, it was okay, sir. I, huh? I think it was okay. You okay? <laughs> yes. All right, very good. Um, My feeling is that you have to work uh, a little on economics. Your economics is uh, for shortage of time. I didn't uh, <coughs> ask you more difficult questions. Okay, sir. But I think there are green shoots. Service PMI has improved. Sir, I didn't want to interrupt you there. No. Sir, I was saying this. I'm telling you again and again, you don't say you, I don't want to interrupt. You have to perform, not me, in this interview. You have to say. Then the, the food production is expected to, to be record this year. From 283 million tons, government, the first estimate, official estimate, which has come, saying 315 million tons. Yeah. Yes, sir. A million or metric or whatever it is. Million. Million tons. So that is a green shoot. Service sector has improved. PMI indices improved in the last three months. 
November, December, January. So IIP index came down. Okay, so these are some of the green shoots which are appearing. Okay, sir. The power demand is also improving. Earlier, power demand had also gone down badly because industries were idle. Yes, now power demand is also improving. So these are some of you can say. So and then Haryana, you will have to study hard. Then about your uh, <coughs> your economic current developments. It तो आपको बड़ा भारी subject है आपका आपको काफी पढ़ना पड़ेगा budget भी पढ़ना पड़ेगा और economic India की economic situation भी. Then current affairs. You were asked about the exodus in Kashmiri Pandits, terror groups, etc. Lokpal crisis. You know, in Actis, Kalanan, RCP. All these are important issues. On which you to work. We see for you at the end. Okay. Okay, sir. All right. Good luck. Thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you, sir. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel, and press the bell icon to never miss an update.